that is a Charizard level X. I'm keeping hold of this until I can set up the man cave. What's going on guys? My name is James Collects and if you're finding me for the first time, I'm both a nerdy collector and an eBay reseller. In this particular video, it's all the bits I picked up on this bank holiday Monday car boot. Now, I wasn't planning on going to the car boot. I was supposed to be going out last night and getting, well, drunk is, is the right word for, for using. Mm -hmm. So yeah, obviously that didn't happen. Didn't go out, which meant I went to bed relatively early and just woke up at 10 past five. So yeah, like I woke up, sun was out and I thought, you know what? I might just go to the car boot. So didn't have a great deal of money with me, um, but there wasn't a great deal around either. There's like no retro gaming stuff whatsoever, but this is uh, is what we picked up. So this, enough, that little section, ignore that. So this is what we picked up, this particular car boot. So we have a, uh, it's not, it's an easy phone. It's, um, oh, what's it called? It's like a voicemail thing, but the old version, <laughs> what's it called? Answer machine, that's it. Uh, so that was two pounds. That comes with the right power supply. Uh, we've got a Philips cassette recorder. That was two pounds. These toys in here were a pound each. So that's just going to go into the the box of retro toys. I presume. I don't think that is Planet of the Apes. You know, that looks like it's from something else, but I can't. I can't pin it down in my head. Uh, yeah, so that was that was a pound. Um, what else do we have? There's a little Yoda back here. He was 50 pence. There's a, a little Wally, which I'm fairly sure I already have this one. But I have to double check. But yeah, absolutely tiny. So adorably cute. Paid 50 pence. We also have a potty well on a roller. That was 50 pence. Venom Disney Infinity figure. That was a pound. We've also got a bigger Wally. That one was one pound fifty. Um, I think it was up for two pounds. Yeah, got it down to one fifty. It needs new batteries, but yeah, I have got a little Wally army in my office. And then we also have in here, I paid ten pounds for the box. And these are Beauty and the Beast trinket trays, which are actually quite adorable. Retail price is £15. They tend to go uh, for around £12, including post online. So should be able to get th that through as a large letter. So that's nice and easy. Then if we move over to this, I overpaid for this. I paid £10. Now, I didn't look this up, but from memory... It was going for between 30 and 40 quid online. And obviously the price has dropped dramatically. So it means that someone somewhere has obviously found a load of these in a warehouse somewhere, which has caused the, the price to drop dramatically. So £10, I'm keeping hold of this until I can set up the man cave when I can afford to rip the house apart. Then over here... There's, that's all yesterday stuff. It's just everywhere. I've got so much to sort out. This is a Lucky One leather jacket. It's extra large, so it fits me absolutely fine. There's only one online at the moment, which is for a 4XL, I think. So, and that was £35. So I think I'm going to put this on for £49.99 plus postage, best offer, because it's quite a sort after size I would have thought for someone of my build someone of my dad's build it's going to be yeah not uncommon but you're not going to see loads of these ones around I couldn't actually find an XL for sale so or a sold one so I'll give it a go I paid five pound for that so that is potentially very very nice indeed next up is uh, is these I paid two pounds each so we have Black Panther a nation under our feet part two part one Part two, part one, part one, part two. So three sets of that cost me £12. I think 
uh, these are actually going for a few quid um, individually. So I can bundle them both together. We should be okay on that. Let's just get rid of that. We have one of the BBs. I forget which one it is. Uh, that was essentially £2.50, which came with this guy, which was essentially £2.50. So uh, I'll make my money back on the pair just by selling this one, which means the profit is all in the black one. Uh, inside the bag, what do we have? We have a miniature squirt, which is absolutely adorable. Paid 50 pence. It's brand new with tags. Same with this guy. Brand new with tags. Absolutely so 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 adorable and we also have a Snorlax as well not only that but we have some Pokemon cards so the tins were £5 each so I naturally opened up both the tins and had a little look through and I think there's a few it's not like nothing major but it's it was the only ones that were worth it so I don't know what set that's from. But that's an Arcanine. Don't want that. Don't want that. I don't think I want that. No. 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 That is a Charizard level X. That's nice. Don't want that. Don't want that. Nope. 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 Brock's Mankey. That's Wizard of the Coast. We'll keep hold of that. Brock's Sandshrew. Don't want that. Are you doing that? We don't want that. We don't want that. Nope. No. Wizard of the Coast. We'll keep hold of that. Drifloon. Nope. Gulpin. Mr. Mime. Coughing. Dustox. Unknown. Yeah, I know you can see that shininess in the back. That is a Sabrina's Gengar. Nilo Queen. I don't think that's a set that I'm doing. I don't think it is anyway. Do, do, do. There's, that just needs straightening out. Apart from that, it's not that bad, to be fair. Uh, Glaceon, no. Drifloon and Spiritomb, no. So that's a pile of not once. These are the pile of once. Right. Next little pile. I have to get some books on these to straighten them out. So we have a Medicham. We have a Rayquaza level X. Uh, Munchlax. No, no. Oh, this is so hard doing it while holding the phone. Nope. 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 They're all in um, types as well, aren't they? I might just... El Elka Stratini, we'll keep hold of that one. Raticate from base set two. Erica's Weeping Bell, keep hold of that one. Nope, 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 nope. So the, the, the bundle of cards that I don't want, um, does anyone want them? I've got loads of bulk actually. If anyone knows who uh, of someone who buys bulk, um, preferably someone who lives in the Buckinghamshire area, so we can uh, cut out the cost of postage, that would be amazing. Um, do I want that? Not really. Nope. 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 Okay, fires. Nine tails. No. 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 That's Wizards of the Coast, that's Wizards, that's Wizards. Typhlosion, that is, what sets that? I want to say Heart Gold, Soul Silver. I might keep that one. Charizard, that, that looks fake as hell. Yeah, that is fake. That's a shame. That, that's going in the pile anyway, in case whoever gets these wants the fake. Um... That's okay. Flareon. It's just a pile of stuff that I am keeping. All right, last little bundle, and we are starting off with a reverse shop it. Nope, 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 nope. Venomoth, nope. 
because no, Odish will keep that one. Nope, 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 they're all upside down. Um, Leafion, no, Wormpool, Empoleon, Lotad, Deli Bird, Krabby, Shelda, Dugong, Corpus, Floatzel, Mantike, Tentacruel, Golduck, Lantern, Misty Seeking, keep that. Omanite, Polywrath, lovely jubbly. It's just regular base set, unfortunately. Um, seen better days, but yeah, part of the bundle. Happy with that. Uh, Finian, uh, Misty's Cloister from Jim. Heroes is white, I think. And there we go. So, Pokemon cards, done. And there we have it. That is the whole of the Monday car boot done. I wasn't expecting to go to the car boot. It just sort of happened. As I say, I woke up early. And when I'm awake, that's it. I, I'm not going to be able to get back to sleep straight away. So rather than just wait around in bed before I was going to the car boot. So, yeah. Uh, not sure my steps. I'm, to be fair, thinking about it, Anyone who does this full time, they must be so fit. Like to go around and because you could pretty much do a car boot every single day of the week if you wanted to. I, I tend to average anywhere between seven and fifteen thousand steps on a car boot day, which is a lot of walking. How can anyone be unfit or overweight, man? Jesus Christ! If I ever do stop doing my full time job and do this full-time, which I don't think I'm ever going to do because I enjoy my job too much. That's, like, fitness levels would be quite nice, actually. It made playing football on Wednesdays a little bit easier. So, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Like, whoever does this full-time, I know a few of you guys watch. Um, I, I would imagine it must be like going to... It must be like a good cardio workout every single day, especially carrying the bags. I mean, if you fill up your, your IKEA bags... That can be a fair bit of weight, and you can just walk around and just start, I don't know, pumping them or something. So, yeah. Don't know. I don't know. What am I talking about? I should just go. Uh, if you want to be entered into uh, this month's giveaway, then just leave a comment down below. It's as simple as that. Um, as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you lovely lot in the next video. Good gaming, and happy collecting. Adios.